to me, it's important to build a personal relationship with Allah. Han Meditation. Hello guys, I'm Han. This is my wife, Kelly. We are Han Hello. Meditations. We're trying to learn more about Islam and more about all different kinds of religions when we've just really been kind of wanting to know about Sufism. Who are the Sufis? What is it? And we just watch a video where it's talking about them doing meditation and get them closer to Allah, which is a beautiful thing. So we want to learn more about them. Let's We're just see curious. this video. This is by Asim al-Hakim and he's saying, explaining who the Sufis are. Uh, from Saudi Arabia, he says that he has a friend from Qatar, who is a Sufi, and he keeps on telling him that the Sufi way of uh, religion is the best way. We sit in a corner of a masjid, we make dhikr, we make dua, we feel our hearts light with uh, uh, sins and uh, heavy with iman, and our way of life is the best way of life. The Prophet ﷺ had secrets that he only gave to few of his friends and we share some of these secrets and he's asking uh, what, what, what should I say? Akhi, the Prophet told us والسلام, that there will be 73 sects of his ummah. They will be divided into 73. All in hell except one. And when they asked him which one O Prophet of Allah, he said those who are on the footsteps of my footsteps and the companions. So those who are following the Prophet ﷺ and his companions are on the right track without any doubt. Now when we come to the Sufis, Sufis are levels and grades. Some of them are very close to us. And all what they have from Sufism is that they are not indulging this life. So they don't ride a fancy car like we do. They don't uh, have uh, uh, any connection with this dunya when it comes to uh, sort of uh, living a nice and soft life, which is by itself good. This is their right to choose. They're close to us. But there are extreme Sufis who go out of the fold of Islam when they pretend that they have things that are not found in the Quran and Sunnah. Like your friend is saying that the Prophet has deceived and cheated his ummah, astaghfirullah, when he only taught a handful secrets that the whole ummah do not know about. And this is totally wrong and out of uh, uh, context altogether. So how do we uh, address these people? We address them that even the Christians have this light heart and this uh, 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 tranquility they find, though they are disbelievers. This is from shaitan. You cannot get closer to Allah Azza wa Jal except through the Quran and the Sunnah and following the footsteps of the Prophet and your practice is full of innovation. Oh, that's <laughs> interesting. What I personally believe is that there's no exactly right or wrong way to find your way to God. And that's just my personal belief. So I believe that it's, and we don't know anything about Sufism yet. We did a couple videos and then you said some of them is very close to Islam. Some is not. So we're just very interested in finding out what is and what is it not? Because it's just such an interesting thing. And like how we said, I don't know about, you know, him telling secrets to certain people and they <laughs> share these secrets because why would you keep it a secret? Why wouldn't you just let everybody know what it is and then people can look at it from that standpoint and say okay well i you know i like this but that's out of control what are you doing here that's not a secret everybody's heard of this and it's not real so it's just kind of a convoluted thing whenever you're talking about certain sects and religions and certain belief systems and you don't really know who his friend is you don't know who his friend is what he's saying mm -hmm. who he's even, or who he or where he is even getting his information from yeah. That's why he was kind of saying, if you're not getting your information from the Quran, then, you know, it's kind of can be mm -hmm. from shaitan. Exactly. So you don't really know exactly where he's getting his information from. Yeah. I mean, a secret about Muhammad, peace be upon him, having secrets is just it starts to get kind of down a rabbit hole. You know what I mean? Like, OK, mm -hmm. well, who made the secret about him having secrets? You know what I mean? Like, where is this information coming from? So. Yeah. Those are the type of things to truly, truly, you know, take with a grain of salt. But I do definitely understand how, you know, anytime is someone's kind of uh, straying away from the straight path, even if it is another, you know, sect of Islam, 
you know, I definitely understand how it kind of allows for an opening maybe for a shaitan to come in, you know, if you're, if you're straying away from that straight path. So I certainly do understand that viewpoint that to just stay by what you know is good and is true. And I certainly understand that. I don't think it's, you know, black and white, where if you are Sufi, you're automatically going, if you're just getting tricked. You know, I do think there is very valid points when they say that through religion, I mean, I'm sorry, through meditation, that is, they become closer to Allah. I mean, I have to tell you, during our own meditation experiences in our life, it's been some of the most beautiful, profound moments of love and overwhelming love, emotion, gratitude, joy that I know it is from God. I, I truly, 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 truly know that. So that is my own, you know, life experience. I true do truly believe that you can become close to God in meditation. And it's all about your what's the word I'm looking for? Your intention, your mm. intention, just like before a prayer, if you, you're very, very intentional to only praise to God and only to call on God and only to do it out of love and gratitude and the same with meditation, you don't just go in there and, and not care. You have a very high intention to only surround yourself with love and light and to seek God. And no, you're right because you can you know, be doing, you can be reciting prayers from the Bible or the Quran and you can be doing absolute evil and terror onto the world. So it's, and you could also be doing, so it's just like just going from a perspective and knowing that the intention is what truly matters because what's in your heart is what matters. And that's why to me, it's important to build a personal relationship with Allah because from that point forward, you will kind of have a barometer of sorts of knowing what is okay, what is not okay, and what is good and what is bad. And then if you have a direct connection to God, we get messages from God that tell us to do certain things, that yes. tell us to get closer to God, to do this, to do that. And that is how we live our life. So a lot of people don't have that barometer. That's why a lot of people need to just follow a very strict guide to this is exactly what you need to do because otherwise they'll be uh, basically fall to shaitan so they'll be tricked so thank you guys for watching the video and we have to thank you guys for donating you just watching the video and liking it is all we need but the people that are donating i have to thank you guys because thank even you. a dollar one cent it matters guys truly. It, it truly does so thank you guys for being here we love you all and we'll see you in the next, next video, video.